This video is on how to view the feedback on your source annotation assignments. You're going to go to MyFire and log in using your Southeastern username and password. Then click on My Courses to see all the courses that you're taking. And click on Intro to Honors Thesis. Once you're here, you want to scroll down to the assignment that you're looking for. In this case, we are going to take a look at the draft of Source Annotation 1. Here we have uh, the place where you've turned in your assignment. We're clicking on My Submissions. What's important here is that you take a look at the similarity and that you click on the pencil next to your grade. Once you have it open, it's basically a PDF with comments on top of it. When you roll over a comment, it's going to tell you what the message is inside. Generally with my highlighting, anything yellow is something you need to fix. Anything green is something that's good and I'm telling you why it's good. I try and give you positive feedback as well. Anything pink is something that you need to take out because it's fluff. On the right hand side you see that we have three icons at the bottom. This bubble will be a general text comment that I make just about the paper in its entirety. The second one is going to give you comments page by page so you can see all the comments that were on a particular page and the blocks that are stacked, that's the rubric. The um, bubbles will tell you how many comments you had for that part of the rubric, so in this case there were none. The gray number is the number that you could get, the black number is the number that you did get. In this case, uh, the student got two comments about the citation, two comments about the summary, one about the evaluation. If you want to save or print a copy, go to the left bottom corner, click on the printer icon, and click on download PDF of current view for printing. When you click on File, it gives you several ways to save this. You can save as and save it to your computer. You can click Send File and send it to yourself. Or you can print it out. When you scroll down through the PDF, you'll be able to see the highlighting. But when you mouse over the comments, they don't open up. You have to go down to see the comments. So further on down, you'll see that the, here are the comments. It tells you what the comment was and what part of the rubric it affected. If you continue to scroll down, you'll be able to see the rubric itself and uh, what grade you got for that particular area. I hope this has been helpful, and I look forward to seeing you in class.